Say it ain't so Why you acting like I don't know Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get this look right here. It's a lot more wearable than my other looks that are pretty colorful and kind of out there. This is definitely still like a dramatic eye look, but I think it's real cute. So today I used the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette. Don't mind mine, it's dirty as hell and I'm fine with that. But to start, I primed with my Makeup Revolution Concealer, the shade C7. So starting off, I'm going to take this shade right here. Um, I need a new palette. I do need a new palette. Packing this right on my crease. And I'm going in with a few layers. I want to build this up. As you can see, you can still kind of see that shade. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but like in person, you can still see it. So that's what you want. Once I have a good amount of eyeshadow on my eye, I'm just going to start blending this in. go in with this red right here. I'm going to put that right in my crease. Versace. <laughs> back in with the first transition shade so that I can blend out these edges a little bit better. Next I'm going to go in with the shade beneath it which is this one right here and I'm going to take that on a pretty small blending brush and I'm going to try and keep this even more like focused in my actual crease so I don't want this to blend as high as the red did or as the transition shade did. <laughs> that red shade and I'm gonna blend out these edges every time I'm doing eyeshadow and doing a look like this that you know contains many many colors I always always go back in with the previous shades and the previous brushes just so that everything looks as seamless as it can be I'm going with this black shade now I'm actually gonna mix it with a little bit of this but after I kind of put like a base color I'm just gonna be using the black <laughs> back in with that previous red um, burgundy shade before we use the black on the brush and I'm gonna go onto the edges of this black and try and blend it into the red that we used <laughs> take some more Makeup Revolution concealer and I'm going to cut my crease. I'm only going to cut it halfway as you can see. some of this shade and this shade together mostly this but I want a little bit of like that super bright shade and I'm going to put that on the inner part of my lid <laughs> I'm 
going to take this shade right here and that's going to go right on this outer part of the cut crease where I didn't apply any of that super bright shade. So I don't want this to be super intense. As you can see on this eye, it's really not that noticeable, but it's still there, you know what I mean? with that um, first brush that we use with with this bright shade and I'm gonna kind of go lightly over it but I'm mostly trying to go over the edges I'm gonna go in with some black and I'm just gonna try and blend this edge into each other <laughs> I'm just going to use my um, Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara and I'm going to do a quick coat on my lashes. So for eyelashes, I'm going to be using the Morphe eyelashes in the Style Sunset Boulevard. I chose these because I really want this bright inner corner to show and these are kind of like tapered, like they're shorter. In the beginning and then longer on the outsides okay so I just went ahead and did this under eye and mascara so I'm gonna do this one on camera I'm gonna just take that first transition shade and I'm going to apply that first next I'm taking the burgundy shade and I'm gonna apply that closer to my lash line Now getting the black, I'm going to apply that closer to the outer edge. I'm going to bring it on, on the whole under eye, but I want it to be more saturated on the outer edge. Yeah. 